Hello and welcome to We're, We're the, the Worst. Worst. Hello, my buddies. It's Carmen, and it's time for my weekly geek out. It is the eighth weekly geek out, and today I will be geeking out about calligraphy and hand lettering. So many of you may remember in one of our previous episodes, Soman made a reference to uh, me kind of getting into it. I'm still not that great, you guys. It is a hard, a hard hobby to learn. It's relatively cheap to learn, um, so I'm going to go briefly into um, how to start and then my, like, uh, inspirations, I guess, like people who are really good at it and people who I follow on Instagram and YouTube who inspire me to do better. So basically all you need is a calligraphy pen um, for calligraphy, and uh, which is basically a boop or boop, a speedball, so that's what I use, and then I just use regular um, India like ink. Um, just make sure it's good for calligraphy pens and not fountain pens. Those are two very different uh, inks type, ink types, ink types. So all I do is I write. I practice my ABCs. Um, that's what I do for calligraphy. Um, for hand lettering, you basically um, that goes to my roots in graphic design. Um, remember, you guys, I was graphic. I studied graphic design, um, but that goes back to my roots. So basically, that's drawing your typography, um, which is a lot harder. I can draw, you guys. If you saw my drawings, you'd be horrified. Um, probably cry. You'd probably cry a little bit. So all you do is you say you come up with a quote like um, Frank. Franz Kafka? I think it's Franz. I just wrote this last night. I, I see I practice, you guys, I practice. So Franz Kafka once said, I am a cage in search of a bird. And I feel like that means he has structure. He is one for structure and he's looking for a companion who will, is more free but needs him to keep them in check. And I feel like I understand where he's coming from. I don't know if that's what he meant. You guys, that's what I'm taking away from it. I drew, like, I decided, oh, I want, like, I want, like, his words in, like, a really long type, and then, which will match the bars of the cage he's talking about. And so I drew a cage, and then I drew, I'm a cage in search of a bird, in it, the quote. And then I started drawing the lines to go around it, and basically, I outlined it in black. Um, I am a beginner. I really like that quote, and I really like um, playing around with like forms and stuff. Obviously, people do a lot of more complicated stuff, which I will get into now. So the first person I want to talk about in regards to my inspiration for calligraphy is a woman I know by Pretty Prints and Paper, and I think her real name is Jessica, and she does amazing brush calligraphy. I follow her, and she does, she has, like, a really great, um, Instagram that she, you know, just writes out, she, you know, hand writes, um, some quotes and stuff, and she has a bullet journal just like me. She, I know her from the bullet journal community, um, but then I followed, started liking her calligraphy stuff as well. And uh, she has a you. She did a YouTube series about how she does brush calligraphy um, with brush pens, which you can also use a watercolor brush for. The other person I want to talk about, bam, um, for <laughs> another person I want to talk about for calligraphy um, is another woman who goes by Gourmet Pens. I don't know what her real name is. I probably just didn't listen. She probably says it a lot. But um, she does amazing calligraphy with fountain pens, and they're almost always flex nibs, and they're always, always gorgeous. I think she really likes inks, whereas I really like um, just different nibs and, uh, you know, brushes and stuff like that. But she really likes to showcase inks, which is also great because they're so beautiful. The way she writes is so great. Another person I want to talk about for my inspiration is, bam! His name is Steve Bradbury, and he is a graphic designer, but he also does lettering, and he has amazing, 
amazing skills. Um, he's just great. I, I, I mean, everyone I talk about will be linked, but he's really what started me on, like, hand lettering and stuff. Um, not to mention another woman, boop, <laughs> called I Know by Marzi, I think her name is. Um, her channel is made by Marzipan, and she's great. Um, she's really what, like, got me interested, but Steve Bradbury is really who keeps my inspiration going. His, the way he writes out, um, calligraphy and hand lettering with brush pencils, I mean brush pens, and stuff like that is just stunning. And the other person, I think a lot of people have seen him, is Seb Lester, and he's the guy that does, like, one pen for, like, the Nike stuff. If you haven't seen it, I've seen it all over Facebook. People have, like, tagged me in it, people have put it on my wall. You guys have seen it. I've seen it, okay? It's great. But those are my inspirations, and that is what I'm geeking out about. That is what I've been geeking... Blah, 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 blah. That is what I've been geeking about for the last, like, couple months, but... This week in particular, I really, really enjoy. I think I'm going to get back on my horse. Like I said, I did this last night. Um, I'm not good by any means, but if I want to get to Inktober, Inktober is just in a couple months, you guys. That's also Sonia's birthday month. Woo, Sonia! Um, I got to get ready. And that's all I've been geeking about, you guys. Thanks for listening. Um, please go watch Sonia's if you haven't done that already. And thanks for listening. Bye, guys.